Hey guys, how's it going? It's Zed for me, and today we're gonna to be installing Rally Armor mud flaps onto the Tesla Model Y. Rally Armor sent me these mud flaps. They just came out about a week ago, which is really nice of them to, uh, to send this out. Basically, uh, I had ordered mud flaps for this car. Tesla um, has only the fronts, which I didn't want. I wanted front and rear. And then the aftermarket options that had the front and rear, most of them, uh, well, the one I bought at least, was from AliExpress, which was like overseas, and they, it never came. So I still have to open up the dispute and get my money back. But uh, I had Rally Armor on the Golf R. I had Rally Armor on my STI. So I really like the design of these uh, mud flaps. They're all basically a very similar design, polyurethane, and um, they're soft. So basically, you know, if you hit something, it's not a big deal. Comes with everything you need. I believe the only tools that we'll need is probably a flathead screwdriver uh, as well as a ratcheting screwdriver. So um, I have those two things right here. Um, so we'll try and install the fronts first. By the way, Rally Armor always has really nice packaging, as you can see. I really like that about them. And uh, their company is actually based out of, out of New York City where I am, which is really cool as well. The uh, material is really nice. Uh, and it, I remember on the Gulf R and on the STI, they would always clean very easily and then become really nice and glossy again. So it looks like the ones that go on the front versus the back. Let me see. Is there a picture of them? Three hours later. Three hours later. All right, so it looks like the fronts are these guys, and then the rears are these guys. They give really nice instructions with pictures on how to install it properly. So we're gonna be taking out two retaining clips at the bottom, and then we're gonna be adding a couple of clips um, in order to hold the tops of the mud flaps together. First things that I'm gonna do is probably take off these retaining clips over here. So if you take a look closer, use a flathead screwdriver on these two points right here, one here and one a little bit closer. Um, essentially, the way they pop out is you stick your flathead screwdriver in there and you twist and you should be able to just pop them out like that. Very easy. You do the same thing for one that's closer. You twist your flathead screwdriver and, the, and that's basically it. So the two, of the, the two clips are, are out. All right, I'm going to open this bag here that has all our hardware that we need. It looks like we'll need three of these clips. One, two, three. We'll need two washers. One, two. We'll need, it's called an expansion. I guess that's, this is one of them. This is another. And then we'll need two screws, which are these two guys. It looks like these expansion clips are the first things to go in. How do these work? <laughs> ah, see, it even tells you how to do it over here. It says, number one, you push here. And then number two, you fold the ends. So, take this, bam, fold it in like that. Okay, so we'll take that and put it in over here. One of them is just like that. We'll take our second one, fold it in. Now oh, this is actually a pretty easy installation, it's great. I'm gonna take this and fold it in and push it into the second hole and just stick it in the hole. All right, so the washer goes on top here, then the screw goes here, and then we just have to ratchet that in. Let's see, let's try not to drop anything, but. Yeah, I don't think a regular screwdriver would work. You want, you need one that ratchets like this. Is this supposed to be recording? Yeah, just keep recording, whatever. It's just all comedy and entertainment, right? All right, so. <laughs> Daddy's up. mistake number one. Oh, was mistake number two? Oh, oh, you're gonna show them that. Oh man, that's embarrassing. Daddy's big mistake number two. Psst. SMH, SMH. All right, so the white piece goes in first, 
and then your mud flap and then a washer along with the screw goes in and you need a ratcheting screwdriver like that to basically tighten it down very easy just like that all right and then the retaining clips they go one at the top here and then I think it said oh sorry 30 millimeters from the top but ah, that's fine and then 85 millimeters which you know approximately is okay nothing wrong with a little approximation and then one more a little bit lower to tie everything in all together yeah so overall installation is pretty easy all right so basically three clips like that all right so the fronts are uh, the front passenger side here is installed uh, as you can see here we're only about probably two and a half two inches off the ground but the nice thing about these is that they're soft a lot of the other aftermarket ones, they're, they're uh, made of ABS plastic. And so if you really hit it hard, it would probably break. These would just fold, which is really nice. And so your ground clearance is essentially exactly the same as what it was before. These come out also over here. So if you look at it from over here, you can see that they, it sticks out a little bit. So all that uh, dirt and rocks that were flying up into the rocker panel right there won't well, this will basically keep that from happening, which is the main reason why everybody who owns these Tesla Model Ys are getting the mud flaps to begin with. And I will have a future video on the PPF insulation, um, which is installed here. The fronts are now installed, so we will install the rear, which is this one, this one over here. No, I got it wrong. <laughs> no. Yeah. This one, this last one over here. Yeah, this one is the one we're installing on the rear. Two clips and three clips and two washers. Well, two clips and finally two screws. One and two. All right, so we can go to the rear and install okay. that now. All right, so come down here and take a look. There's two retaining clips. One's here. Little poppity pop. Number two closer over here. Poppity pop. And then we will put in... Oh, this, these guys, these cool guys. Number one, push in. Number two, bend. I'm gonna stick one right here. There we go, one. Number two. And then, washer and screw. Let's do the one on the inside first. The ratcheting screwdriver. Oh no! Yo, look how close this look how close this was to almost falling down the sewer. That's what happens when you live in the city, guys. You drop all your car parts down the drain. All your hard-earned money. All right, let me make sure that doesn't happen again. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna do this next one. Over here, on the other side, I think I still need to tighten down more, but that's okay. Oh! <laughs> Let me start it by hand first. I give my wife a lot of anxiety, I know. And three retaining clips. And for the back, it's 25 millimeters, 65 millimeters, and 65 millimeters. So 25 millimeters, as you guys may know, is roughly an inch. That's how I like to do my math. Roughly an inch. All right, that's one. That's two. Okay. All right. I like the uh, Rally Armor logo, it's really subtle. Could have gotten it in blue too, to match the car. But uh, as you can see here, 
anything get kicked up the back here that would otherwise hit the back of the car, uh, kind of like in this trajectory, is gonna be covered as well. And so stand back a little bit. Looks pretty good, right? All right, so I'm going to take some time to do the other side, um, but otherwise that's it for today's video. Um, Definitely check out these Rally Armor Muff Labs. They are more expensive than even the OEM ones for the front or the aftermarket ones for the front and rear. But in my opinion, because it doesn't change your ground clearance at all, because they're soft, they look great. They looked great on the Golf R, they looked great on the STI. I think they look pretty good here on the uh, Tesla Model Y as well. So uh, definitely at least check them out, see if you want to grab yourself a set of these. Pretty easy install. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I'm Zip for me, I'll see you guys in the next one.